Holy shit! <laughs> This is the holy grail bird of New England, okay? Look at that. Look at these beautiful black feathers. And then their feet. They've got all these uh, like bristles on their feet and it's so they can run on snow. All right, so what just happened? We had a really strong wind gust. She wasn't smelling much. We kind of came out to this opening here. It's, it's really open, but there's a little thicket right here, a little island thicket. You know, I, I mentioned, it probably wasn't on camera. I, I mentioned, I said, this is a really grousy cover. It looks very grousy. And I think because of the wind, and we're hunting into the wind, these birds didn't hear her, her bell too much, and they didn't hear us very well. And uh, as we're walking, I'm getting ready to punch in here because it looks a little woodcocky and there was a pair of grouse here and I watched one get up right on the other side of her. I shot it and I was so fucking thrilled that I just shot this grouse on a wild flush that a bigger one just flew out. The second I bang shot it and I started putting my gun down, the other one got up and I didn't, I didn't take a shot at it. It flew into this thicket so we're going to... We're gonna push this thicket, maybe move it again, but wow. <laughs> I wish you were filming that. I was quick on the trigger there. on the first shot. I got it pretty good when it got back up. This is a woodcock. Here's their pin feathers in the back. They've got very articulate feet. This is a male because the beak is not as wide of, as a dollar bill. It might look like it to you, but if we were to slide a bill in there, the dollar bill would be out here. So this is a small male woodcock. Turns out walking this way turned, made fruitful for us. Not in an area where I would expect it a woodcock, but we are one third of the way on a limit to our bag. One more bird is a good day. Good girl, Ryu. That was a good point. too hot last night this big front that came in this cold front and all that wind I bet there were birds here over the weekend no one was hunting here because it was too hot when it's too hot you can't hunt all the scents rise really fast and blow around so it's harder for the dogs to work they get hotter so they burn up so they're exhaling out of their mouth and their tongues are hanging out and they're not spending time sniffing, so they hunt bad. So when it's hot, it sucks to hunt. But I bet that front that came in, I bet that front came in and uh, the birds, were, they could feel that pressure system change and the birds are like, let's go. That we're here. 
So, I don't know. I mean, they're fucking birds. <laughs> but keep seeing evidence. She keeps pointing evidence. The evidence has to be within the last 24 hours because we had rain yesterday morning. Um, and it was heavy. We had heavy rain yesterday. And that poop is not washed away off the leaves. So. The life of a bird hunter, it's, mm -hmm. it's a chance, you know? Hen pheasant. A lot of people don't. Hey, right, you sit. A lot of people don't know. New Hampshire stocks both ro roosters and hens. It is legal to shoot hens in New Hampshire because they're a placed bird. So, started the morning off well with a. The hen pheasant. Okay, you're dead like really dead. God, it's like my fucking son kicking me while I'm trying to change his diaper. The uh, roosters get shot first because when they get up out of a flush, they cackle. And when all these hunters are here during stock days, and they hear that, la, 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 they fucking, they just, all the roosters get fucking whacked. <laughs> for the hens, they're quiet. The hens stay tighter. You gotta work harder for the hens. They get up, they don't make noise when they get up. So, good start. I mean, last stock day for pheasant was almost four weeks ago. So, shooting a pheasant right where they stock birds, four weeks after stock when this place gets pressured. This place gets pressured fucking daily. It's good, it's good. I always shoot a fucking hen in this like acre. Man, we put in another eight or 10 miles that day and we didn't see anything. It was just abysmal. And uh, just, just got a lot of exercise that day. We ended up getting into one woodcock and I missed oh, no. the shot. I double banged triggers and that was it. That's all she wrote, season over.